Do I really exist? I walked back home today. I was thinking about the files I was supposed to complete tonight. I'm always thinking about them. I don't like it though. I don't like the files. I don't like thinking about them. I don't like my boss or my job. There was a lady standing in the elevator. She stayed in the same building. I had seen her before. We both stood there silently. Neither of us thought of maybe acknowledging the fact that that I won the 100 meter race when I was in the third grade, or that I went into a state of depression when I was 12 when my grandfather died, or that I once saved a girl's life when she was about to get run over by a truck, or that we lived in the same area in the same building, or just the fact that we coexisted. So the elevator door opened and she walked out. We did not speak a word. It wasn't because she was not interested in talking to me. It wasn't because she was ignoring me. Then what was it? Why did we choose to assume we did not matter? I found myself wondering how different it would have been when there was no civilization, when there were no social norms, no do's and don'ts, no etiquettes, no kind gestures, when it was pure, uninfluenced human instinct. The first time a man walked this land and struggled to survive, and he travels, and in one of his travels he finds somebody else, and they connect. They didn't know each other. They didn't even live in the same building. I went down for a walk after dinner, wondering if anyone would feel otherwise about our existence. I stopped after a while, stood there, looking at these people. If someone could greet me or notice me, walking among so many, nobody, nobody at all. They kept hurling around like a fucking flock of sheep. I do not belong here. I said to myself. I rushed to the city at a speed that was definitely above what they permitted. Not because I was worried about the car I had just stolen, or its tire that was low on air, or my house that wasn't double locked, or the files I was supposed to complete. I just wanted to get through this traffic and its lights that miserably failed to enlighten people. feeling like I was leading the climax of a wonderful film based on freedom. I was going into the wild. Nothing could stop me. Thank you. I was unconscious the whole night. Somebody came the next morning. I lay there on the bed provided by these civilized monkeys. They sucked me back in. Why didn't I just complete those fires? They would be laughing at me right now. My boss came to visit. My mother visited. She said she went to my place to check if I was doing drugs. She said everyone in the building knew about this. Accident हो गया उसका. सच में? That's so sad. I hope he's fine. A man who had thoroughly read the society rule book on behavior said that if I was so disturbed by my society, I should shift to another one. I think he took me saying society too literally. He convinced my mother that I must shift to another building. My mother forced me to follow the same. It's been a month. I'm better. I have submitted myself to civil norms again. I cease to exist yet again. <laughs>